Hello everybody, this is Jay Phoenix Suns 2007. I'm going to do a video on how to uh, replace your or upgrade your mini Evo stock brushless or brushed system into a 110 scale brushless system. First off, everybody said, because I wanted a 3 cell brushless badass, and everybody said get the Mamba 5700. That's the highest you can go. Um, well, actually I went out and I found a 6800 brushless system which handles 3 cell pretty good. It gets rather hot, but you know, what do you expect? Um, and I can show you the specs on that here. Um, as far as the motor, you can do 2 to 3 cell. Speed control, 2 to 3 cell. And if you want to take a look at that, you can. There it is. Um, it is a 6800 kV brushless motor and speed control 10th scale. So, um, found that to be pretty cool. Not only that, it comes with this pretty neat little um, programming card, as you can see there. Gives you all your options and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. So it plugs right into your speed control. Um, oh, while well, I'm pointing at these here, I would recommend getting these because when you crash, you're going to lose a lot of Eclipse. And um, there's the uh, stock tires. So many of you are asking, what do I need in order to convert this into a 110 scale Brussels bad boy? Well, to tell you the truth, the way it works is that the... Um, brushed version comes with 550 Titan motor so this is the motor mount for the 550 uh, Titan motor what happens is this comes with a Valenian brushless motor if you get the brushless setup and the motor is smaller therefore the motor mount is smaller therefore the motor plate is I went out and I bought the bigger motor mount to fix the bigger motor but the motor mount was still too small so there's two ways you can do it you can go out and buy the motor mount setup for the 550 uh, motor which this will attach to just fine or what like I did is I dremeled an area here where um, it allows room because what happens is the smaller motor mount the space between this screw and this screw is a lot smaller so it fits right into that motor mount the bigger one the space is uh, wider so what you need to do is cut with the dremel so that that wider um, area will fit Okay, there's barely anything left there as you can see, but it will hold on. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. If you buy the bigger motor mount, I don't know if you have to change the transmission case. I think, I'm not too sure. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's how you do that. Um, another thing to know is that your uh, box for your receiver is not going to uh, allow the wires to go through the front like it came. So what I did is I drilled a hole in the back, and what that does is allows the wires to go in there cleanly and smoothly. Um, so you're probably wondering, too, uh, what upgrades I did in order to um, handle the power. Because what happens is I brought this home, I left everything else stock, and the handling was almost uncontrollable. My CVD drive shafts blew apart, and my center differential blow apart. So what I, what I did is I went out and bought the center ball differential. I bought these upgraded CVDs and an aluminum inner main shaft. Okay, And that makes all the difference. What it does is it helps with the speed. It can actually handle it. That plastic stuff can't handle it. And I'll just tell you real quick, if you are going to change out even just your CVDs, be ready to do some work, the drive shafts, because you have to take this all apart, all the way into your differential in there. You have to take it all apart. You have to even take the casing apart in order to get these ball cups in there because you're going to replace the stock ones. Um, so take that all apart. And the same thing with the back. You're going to have to take it all apart. Um, the manual will show you how to do it, though. It's it's pretty easy, but it is it requires some work. Um the other thing you might want to do is get the aluminum uh, hex nuts because what happens is the plastic ones strip very easily, especially if you crash or you make a quick stop. They actually start to uh, to wear away. Second, The other thing you want to do is put in a second servo for handling and precision. When you buy the servo itself, you are not going to actually get the rest of the setup. You won't even get a servo horn. The servo horn comes in a package that the number is 743. That also comes with these ball links and this arm here. The only thing it's not going to come with 
and you guys are going to thank me for this, is the screw. So while you're at the hobby store, get the screw that allows the servo horn to contact with the uh, actual servo because it does not come with that screw, okay? Um, so other than that, I mean, you know, just upgrade those parts. That way your, your e-revo doesn't fall apart while you're driving it. Oh, and this motor is heavier, so you're going to need stiffer uh, shock springs. I got the Summit shock springs, and I put in 80 weight oil. Okay, and yeah, when you put those CVDs in, you're gonna have to take all of this off, even the shocks, everything off. Um, and then the other thing, too, is inside of the spur gear, there is a ball bearing, it's a four by eight by three. Oops, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's right inside of there, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because. Um, the stock one comes with this blue rubber sealant. That blue rubber sealant catches onto that spring you see there, and it actually strips it when it's going really fast. So I went on, I bought some 4x8x3 ball bearings without that sealant, okay? Um, and some of you, back to the motor really quick, some of you are probably wondering um, what else you need. Oh, well, there's two ways. The motor mount and the Dremel, or the motor mount and the bigger motor plate. Okay, you don't need a different spur gear because what happens is some people say, well, I need to change this whole mechanics now because this does its job still. It slides over and meshes your pinion gear with your spur gear. The only, I mean, I took out the 50 and put in a 55. That's just me. You can keep in the 50 and you can keep the stock or the 26 that they give you with the package when you buy it. Other than that, you don't really need to um, buy anything else. Really, everything else is there. Like I said, just change the ball bearing out, though, because that rubber sealant will catch okay um the other thing too is cut holes in your canopy or your uh, what do you call it the body um because you're going to need to allow air and ventilation the other thing i did is i put on these micro t all of terrain tires and that's good for wheelies because as you can see going fast these will wear out very easily and get some proline dirt hogs beat logs um these work really good for um, asphalt, cement, grass, dirt, everything. So the the on-road ones are only good for the road, and they don't catch as good as these, I don't think. So other than that, I think I got it all in there. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Um, and I got some 3-cell 35C batteries in there. I think that's it. So, all right. So in order to upgrade, what you're going to need, again, is the ball differential the aluminum main shaft, CVD drive shafts, and the lock nuts. Of course, you can do anything else you'd like, um, but that's it for now, all right? And then you probably want to pick up a nicer radio. This isn't the nicest one, but it's a pretty nice one, so. All right, guys, take care.